Whoa, this is how we start in the week? Big news. Oh, we have our cow! Reggie Fils of me! OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Hello, All right. OB1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing we have a couple of big news items to start out this beautiful monday morning but before we get started give the video a thumbs up let's crush 400 likes for this video we can do it 400 all right bro first nintendo's global president is talking new Nintendo Switch hardware, specifically when we can expect it, and Nintendo's mentality in the development process. And so some huge, huge news. This is coming from Japanese publication Nikkei. They interviewed Shantaro Furukawa, and check out what he says. They ask, looking back at the DS and Wii, these systems peaked out at about four years of their life cycle. How are the switches so far formed? And this is what he says. As the switch enters its fifth year on the market, one of our focal points is to extend the life cycle of the switch. You know what that screams? Switch Pro. Switch Pro. They said, because usually Nintendo, traditionally a five year turnover in their hardware. Go and check all their hardware cycles. A little bit more, a little bit less, but for the most part it's five years. <laughs> At five years, they're wrapping it up. They're putting Kirby games on the platforms. They're putting lesser known title, um, popular titles on the platforms. But right here, it's almost if he said, oh, we just warm it up. He said they're looking to ways to extend the life cycle and one way have the same family of games, but on more powerful hardware. This is what he continues to say. It is very important for us that our customers enjoy switching and continuing to play. This includes switch owners who purchased the console at launch to switch owners who purchased it in recent releases, such as Animal Crossing. It's about providing a new gameplay experience for all switch owners. It's important to keep in mind that the console base will continue to grow and the types of games already released for the system. So they ask, so can you take steps to extend the hardware life cycle if needed? And he says, correct. I always say the switch is around the middle stage of that life cycle. Going to five years? 18, 19, 20, 21. We're in four years right now. And they say that they're at the middle, middle point. Four years in? That's long for Nintendo. This is what he says. Switch is both a home and a portable console. It can offer a variety of games, but there's still much more that can be done in the coming years. They have some more surprises in this system, we'll see. All right, then they ask, are you developing a console with a target period in mind? He asks, are you, the, the publication asks, are you developing a console? They specifically ask, and when is it gonna launch? <coughs> This is what he says. I never think about when to release the console, but I'm always doing technical and market research. Our hardware and software teams work in the same building and are constantly communicating and thinking about new ways to enjoy. Even when developing specific hardware, there are so many hurdles to overcome over the years that it never actually stops. After all, the realization of an idea is the ability to offer a new experience. And so, he pretty much said that they're always um, doing, um, they're always working on new hardware. That's what he pretty much said. So, he didn't go into specifics of a target date. He pretty much said, when we develop our consoles, we don't develop it for a certain day. We're going to launch this next console in 2023. They say, no. They say, 
they they just work on the hardware see what's best see what the current platform is doing and um adjust the release dates accordingly so cool 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 bits of information what's most striking is him saying they are only in the midpoint of the cycle for the nintendo switch and they're looking for ways to extend the hardware what this says to me is a switch pro a ps4 pro type situation where they do not want to leave behind the 80 million plus fan base they want the same games to run uh, to work across all switch systems but gamers could always want higher frame rates better resolution interesting interesting stuff bro what if i told john all right next news item let me just set it up all right next news item only on wii u's like <coughs> bro what if i told y'all we're gonna get a nintendo direct next week probably check this out cutting um this is coming from express.co.uk zelda breath of the wild 2 could make an appearance during an upcoming zelda direct to mark the series 35th anniversary and here's why february 21st 1986 was the date that the world was first introduced to link and so the 35th year celebration of zelda officially kicks off february 21st that's when the original zelda game was launched and february 21st is one week away according to this article they're saying to keep your eyes peeled for a zelda nintendo direct a zelda focused nintendo direct possibly coming february 21st based on the 35th year anniversary date for zelda i think that's a perfect time to crank out the information this is coming hot off the heels of a whole bunch of trademarks recently being filed and renewed wind waker skyward sword phantom hourglass to name a few and so i can't wait can't wait perfect timing Th this year is going to be a great software year for the switch we already have that fire mario 3d world which i will be playing this morning if you're watching this video i probably will be uh, on my gaming channel obi-wan plays gaming championship playing with the sponsors we're going to be playing super mario 3d world game is lit game is lit and speaking of super mario 3d world some great great news just came in early data or early software sales are starting to come in for the game and it's looking pretty good first it's the number one selling game in the uk and so it's already starting off uk is the only area where we're getting information so far at first it's the number one selling game in the uk and as of now it's the third biggest Mario platform launch on the Switch, and it's up against tough, stiff competition. It's behind Super Mario Odyssey and Super Mario 3D All-Stars, so the game is off to a great, great start. Great game. IGN, this is another epic fail for y'all, bro. This is a Mario, this is a double dash type fail, giving double dash a 7.8, bro. You couldn't have given an 8. Come on, bro so great to see the game is doing good 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 bro this next news item is crazy microsoft just dodged a bullet and we don't know if they're out of hot waters yet with nintendo check this out an official microsoft edge um twitter account they tweeted out and i quote calling all pac-man tetris and mario kart lovers the tweet said did you know microsoft edge has these plus more vintage games on the extension site <laughs> and that tweet was quickly deleted they accidentally were promoted 
ROM illegal games on their website. <laughs> And somebody caught wind of it. I was like, hey, hold on, bro. We're not supposed to have these. We can't be having Mario Kart on our extensions, our Microsoft Edge extensions. And so I guess they had these games buried into their extension files, which they weren't supposed to. They tweeted this out. Some Someone in the company tweeted this out. Oh, y'all can play Mario Kart on Microsoft Edge. And somebody got a wind of it. Like, nah, fam. We can't do that, bro. Nintendo ain't about that life. We don't want to get sued. We don't want to ruin our relationship with Nintendo, most importantly. So I thought that was interesting. That gave me a good laugh. The tweet was up and it quickly got deleted. And this was on an official Microsoft account <laughs> talking about play, Microsoft, play Mario Kart <laughs> on Microsoft. All right. So I thought that was interesting. What do you guys think about all the news we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nin ten toe we out boy you still watching this video that means you like me you really like me i gotta hook you up that's right i'm giving away a 60 dollar digital code every month for your platform of choice xbox nintendo or playstation two ways to enter one make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on youtube two follow me on twitter at obi one plays and that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.